at the end of the day, though, the the belt. It, it's not a true world championship. For me, not, for me, it's not, for me, it's nothing. It's not a true world about championship. Belgium. At one forty-five, if Cyborg has the belt, no, right now, right now, that belt Hankin don't help anything. The belt is not a true world championship. Jerm- right. You're going to say Jermaine Durand is the world champion of the world. No one's going to believe that. Okay, no. So the belt is irregardless. Listen, one forty wasn't a weight class. Chris is fighting at one forty. It's a fake weight class. Yeah. So why wasn't she fighting at 145? And I get I get that the goal was always to get her down to 135. That was the UFC's goal. But that division was never the money division. The fighter, Ronda Rousey, it's was the money, the money fighter. Yeah. And between... Look, dude, you, you used to wake up next to her. Mm. You know. <laughs> you know. You know that that fight was never going to happen. Mm-hmm. Like deep inside of her soul... Mm-hmm. She knows that if she fought Cyborg, she wasn't going to pass to heaven. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think anyone wanted to fight. I don't, I don't think anyone wants to fight Cyborg. This is the problem you guys are always going to have. So now, this is the thing: yeah. is is it, it's it's time to showcase her, right? I mean, if it's I, not, I, it's I, not. I don't understand. I, yeah. It's happening with you, but it's happening. You know, like Amanda Nunes, like. No one barely. She's the world champion at 135. No one knows her story. She has a great story. So it's happened with a lot of people. My 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 huge issue. And I, I'm I'm serious when I say this, and it hurts me. Is it's always happened with you though. Like yeah. it's not it's not like it's new. Like some of these fighters are like, come on, man. I need more PR. I need I need some help. I get that, bro. You've been doing this for a year. Relax. With you, it's never been there. Yeah. You yeah. know you you don't want to hit the nail on the head. You really don't. You don't. You don't want to throw accusations out there, but we're on this side, and you know the night the night Ronda Rousey gets knocked out by Holly Holm, it's like the good old boys club. They're all flying back on a personal jet. They decide they want to do a podcast just like this, and you got, you know, Dana White didn't necessarily tell the joke, but there's three guys sitting in a booth and they're all laughing about it. And you got Tony talking about Cyborg has to cut off her dick to make 135, and. <laughs> You know, at the end of the day... But I understand, they're mad because Ronda lost, but it's not my fault. But at the end of the day... Does that hurt you guys business-wise, though? Because that was the money fight. That was the biggest fight in the world. So when you saw that, we're like, well, there goes that. You know what? We never thought it was going to happen. In your heart of heart, you never thought you were going to fight Ronda? Never. Never. She's already run from Strike Force because she started fighting 145 there. That's right. And then I asked for this fight. Then I say, no, no, she needs more time. In more time, I asked for this fight in Strike Force because she's called me out in one fight. Yeah. And I said, okay, let's do this fight. And then never happened. Did, did you think, did you imagine Ronda's career would have ended like it did with those back to back knockouts? No, no, I think it then did it really nice with her, like then give it girls for her fighting. No, she's gonna beat these girls. And because no, she's she, she cannot take a punch, mm-hmm. she cannot. And then, then handle her in a little bit, give a girls for she can beat, she can beat, she can beat. And then when g- giving her like a girls like to punch, like Holly Holm, like Amanda Nunes, she cannot handle it. You see, yeah. she's retired. She's going to do move. Yeah. And then, but you know, I think then the manager is smart about this. You know, her training, not having so much punch you, you know, for she can stay more time. Be a fighter, mm-hmm. you know. Now she's getting the reality, the reality, the reality like this. The reality, you go to the fight and the fight for the real fighter, and then see if she's supposed to fight me, man. They're gonna be the worst. I did it. Amanda did it for her. Yeah. And then I will. I already know, know about when she's fighting Amanda Nunes. The first punch I remember about Holly Holm, <laughs> and she's out. She's not there. Yeah. You know, and then and, and everybody, I, I think they did it wrong, put her fight Amanda Noon straight after one year. Mm-hmm. I think why they don't put her a couple <coughs> fights first. A warm up fight. And after fight with Amanda. And then people ask me, ah, you do like fight Ronda? I said, man, you know, I would like she getting fights, getting win first, and getting her confident again. And then maybe we can do this fight for all the fans. Why are you gonna fight someone? It's 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 no, no good in the mind. Oh no, that ship sailed. Why am I gonna fight I, someone? Amanda Nunes like you guys think you like that matchup still? Check this out. And no, the that other was thing, over. other thing too, then protect so much Ronda for no fight me. And then uh, fight with Amanda Nunes. Imagine if they make this fight with me, how much money they're gonna make? Would a lot it'll be the same in the end. Yeah. Same end. You get the same result. It's the same result. It might have been a well, little quicker, but you get the same result, but you're this money. superstar, and they would have had more money. You yeah. know, what you're saying about the Ronda Rousey connection, that's a bigger deal than people realize. You Meaning? Know, when, when, when Chris, when, when that strike force cell went down, and Chris essentially told the UFC, hey, look, dude, I'm not going to sign 
a deal. I'm not going to make 145 or 35. I'm going to stay at 145. I don't know exactly who was responsible for these these articles or or what group of people would have gotten together to do this, but there there is a clear trail on the internet of what would appear to be paid posters, paid articles, paid authors that really tried to really highlight Chris and really push her to be the face of steroid abuse in mixed martial arts. Yeah. Who were the people that were really driving that media source? Who were those people on the forums that like had one name and started leaving comments? Who mm-hmm. knows? But you know, there's a lot. There's a lot of people out there. You know, Strike Force or Bellator's out there, and they're, they're convinced that the UFC has a staff of people posting on the internet for them. Yeah, you know what I mean. And so you have Chris. The fight with Ronda is one thing, but then the anti marketing and the anti the negative publicity that went against her really made her the face of steroid abuse in MMA.